Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> what are you eating there, Joe? Oh no, it's a spicy paste. <laughs> On a donut? <laughs> well, I'm seeing this girl who likes spicy food, but I can't handle it. So I'm trying to build up my tolerance to hot food before I date in, ah, oh, 30 minutes. <laughs> How exactly is that helping? Well, I don't like spicy food, but I do like donuts. One thing cancels out the other. <laughs> Good one, Joe. Could you be any more of a genius? Hey Chandler, I have to go out and... Why is Joey putting my Korean hot sauce on a donut? <laughs> oh, he's just building up his tolerance to spicy foods. <laughs> Whatever. Is Ross here? Oh yes, he's... sitting next to me. <laughs> he's coming by to pick up my tennis racket, but I have to go to work. Can you give it to him when he gets here? Why is he taking yours? I gave him mine last week. Really? That's weird. He told me he just broke his yesterday. <laughs> Woo! Hot. Joey! Mon? Hey, man. Hey, Chandler. Have you, uh, seen Monica? No, why? You wanna borrow something? <laughs> no? All right. Ooh, donuts. Is that extra jam? Yep. <laughs> Can I, uh... Oh, definitely. Oh, ew! <laughs> this is how you should actually be using movies and TV to improve your English. Today's video was sponsored by Cake. You can learn to improve your English fluency in a bunch of cool ways for free. I'll show you how in just a moment. But first, every show or movie that you watch in English can improve your vocabulary, your fluency, and your speaking skills. Wait, how can I improve my speaking skills if I'm not actually speaking? Well, first of all, by actively listening, you're passively improving your speaking skills. So if you think that speaking is the only way to improve your speaking, I'm happy to tell you that's not true. Listen to how people speak, the pronunciation, the intonation, the style, and then copy the parts that you like. That's just the first way of how you can improve. For example, remember how Chandler asked that question? On a donut? He didn't use a question word like who, what, why, when, but it was a question. And did you hear the intonation? On a donut? It goes up at the end. Listen to it, copy it, practice it. Use it in your next conversation. Oh, you're Brazilian? Again, actively practicing your listening skills passively improves your speaking skills. Okay, but how can you improve your English if you don't have a teacher, an English speaking friend, you're just you watching Netflix? Well, we're gonna learn in the same way that babies learn English, the natural way. Okay, Joey is talking about spicy food, but he doesn't want to keep repeating the same word, spicy. I'm seeing this girl who likes spicy food, but I can't handle it. So I'm trying to build up my tolerance to hot food. First he said spicy food, then he said hot food. So already we know those are synonyms. We can catch synonyms for words and build our vocabulary that way. And, and, we're learning which word, which expression is best used depending on the context. For example, when Joey says, ooh, hot, we can see and understand that it's more common to say hot when we talk about the feeling of the food, or in this case, the reaction to it. And spicy, that's more common just to talk about the type of food it is. It's sweet food, savory food, salty food, spicy food, blah, blah, blah. So this is something to focus on next time you're watching movies and TV. Focus on the synonyms, but also focus on which words we're more likely to use in which situations. Okay, but how do I watch a show or a movie if I only understand like 50 to 70%? Movies and TV, there for you to enjoy, not to study with and pay attention to every single word. 
I don't pay attention to 100% of what I'm watching. You probably don't pay attention to every word in what you watch in your language. But yes, if you're curious about a new word or a new expression that you've just heard, for example, so I'm trying to build up my tolerance to have food, some people might watch that clip and be like, tolerance, tolerance, I know that word. It's similar in my language. But what does this expression mean? Build my tolerance? Huh? Again, we look at the context. He's eating spicy food, and we know that spicy food is painful. We know that Joey is rubbish with hot food, but he wants to at least get used to it. So, so from that context, we can infer that to build your tolerance to something probably means I don't know, suffer less from it or increase my ability to endure something painful or difficult or hard, something like that. Okay, now what? Well, if you have an English teacher or an English speaking friend, they can confirm the meaning. But we also have to remember it and add it to our vocabulary. So what do we do now? Make your own example using that expression. Make it something relevant to your life that probably you're going to use in the future. For example, for me, uh, I want to build my tolerance to beer. No, seriously, one beer and I'm sleeping. I'm rubbish. And this is where today's sponsor, Cake, comes in. Cake offers you a really good way of improving your English using these same methods and more every day for free. You've got speaking practice, reading, listening practice, and pronunciation practice. Cake has original content that you can watch, learn with, listen to, and it will test your pronunciation. I'm gonna show you. Okay, example. So I'm gonna learn uh, a new way of saying I'm going to improve my car. It already gives you a little test by saying, I'm going to blank my car up. If you already know this phrasal verb, great. If you don't, gonna find out the answer. Hey guys, today's English phrasal verb is beef up. Beef up means to improve or make something stronger. It gives you an explanation of the phrasal verb, how to use it, and an example dialogue using it. You can record yourself copying what they say, and this is where it gets cool. Have a look. Actually, I bought the wheels separately to beef the car up a bit. Okay, I want to practice my pronunciation, so I'm going to record myself. Actually, I bought the wheels separately to beef the car up a bit. Record it into the app and it will grade your pronunciation. For example, look. Look, I got an A. Nailed it. There are a bunch of creators creating original content for the app. Uh, for example, this guy, Paul's English Comedy. He's very good. He does English comedy sketches. Of course I like that. There are captions, translations, and explanations, not just in English, in multiple languages, like Russian, Portuguese, Spanish, and probably yours too. Again, it's free to check. It, it seems like there's something for everyone. You've got business English, we've got uh, prepositions on there, Again, there's a huge emphasis on learning English through fun, which is obviously the best way to learn. One thing that I really like, which is important, is all the English I've seen in this app, it's modern and it's relevant to today English. It's not like old textbook English that no one says anymore. So if you like learning English the natural way, through shows, through comedy, through movies, download Cake. The link is in the description, or you can, you know, just find it on the App Store. And again, it's free. And finally, with movies and TV, you can even learn new grammar without a teacher. You'll just learn it the same way a baby learns it. For example, remember when Joey said this? Well, I don't like spicy food, but I do like donuts. This might seem weird at first. I do like donuts? Shouldn't it just be... I like donuts. Well, this is something we do in English when we really want to emphasize a point. For example, I really do love you so much. We add the extra do before the verb and it adds emphasis. Or to contradict a negative point. For example, Joey was comparing something he doesn't like 
with something he does like. I don't like this, but I do like this. Or if someone said, you don't love me, you can contradict that statement and reply like this. No, 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 you're wrong. I do love you. Now, of course, this might not be as easy or obvious in every case with every new piece of grammar that you hear. And sometimes, yeah, you're gonna need a teacher or an English speaking friend to clarify or to confirm the meaning, what you think it means. But often we can learn new grammar just from the context. All right, fine, but now what? Then you gotta practice it again. Make an example, make it relevant to your life and try to use it in a future conversation. I bet you didn't do your homework. Pfft. Actually, mate, I did do my homework. Yeah, side note, you can use that do for emphasis in the past tense too. So let me know down below, which TV shows do you like to study with? Also try these methods to boost your fluency next time you're chilling with Netflix or Disney or Hulu or Amazon. God, that's a lot. Anywho, if you don't want to spend millions on streaming services, try Cake. It's, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost a thing. You can find the download link in the description or in the app store. And I'll see you in the next class.